Did you know, and if you've watched our shows, the answer should be yes, but did you know that you can get an inexpensive adapter that can allow you to go HDMI into USB that now can easily be captured by your laptop, your PC, your Mac, your desktop, so that any application that runs and sees a webcam will automatically pick up these devices through USB. So I love these three, and these three are the real three that I want to concentrate on. This is the, the 4K Connect from Atomos. It's under 100 bucks. This is the new Roland converter, the USB, uh, I believe, UVC01, which is $250, a nice rugged product. I was very impressed with that. And this is an oldie but goodie that we've been selling for a long time, the Avio HD. Now, this is great products. They work fantastic. They get the job done, and it's really simple to use them because all you have to do, man, this is sensitive today. It's plugged the USB into your camcorder device and HDMI into it, and it's going to light up automatically. It's going to show up as a webcam in your application, whether your application is Zoom, Teams, vMix, uh, Facebook, YouTube app, whatever app you're running. So I want to go over a little video clip now that uh, Adam put together for us. It's really a good job on just showing how, these, how easy these HDMI to USB devices are to use, these encoders. HDMI to USB encoders are a great way to bring your legacy cameras and switchers into today's live streaming workflows. These devices allow you to take the HDMI output of your camera or switcher and convert it to a USB feed that your computer can recognize as if it is a webcam. Devices like the Atomos Connect, Roland UVC01, or Epifan AVIOs can easily bring your HDMI camera into Zoom, Teams, or the video conferencing app of your choice. They also allow you to stream to Facebook, YouTube, or other destinations from your camera right to your computer. There are also great HDMI switchers like the Roland VR1 HD or the RGB Link Mini and Mini Plus that have a USB program output that functions the same way. So there you have it. These are great little devices ranging in price from $59 all the way up to $499 for the Avio 4K. And now we put together this table for you. And this is something I started doing about a month ago on our shows. Is And, and Adam and the team builds me a little table like comparing all the items. And we, pick, we show you the item and the price. And we pick a few features that we think are the most important features you to look at when you're, when you're picking these. So we have the price. We have whether it's HD or 4K. We have what kind of inputs you're going to get to it. And then the build quality, the reason I wanted the build quality is because this little Atomos Connect is a wonderful product for $59, but it is not built nearly as rugged and as, you know, sturdy and reliable as, say, the Avio HD or, or the Roland product. So if you're going to be just streaming every now and then occasionally, you know, a good thing to go with. If you're going to be streaming multiple times a week for a half hour, hour, two hours at a time, heat becomes your enemy. So these more rugged units have better heat dissipation. Right word? Hey, how do you like that? That could go for it. But what I really wanted to talk to you guys about was something that's kind of kind of cool that a lot of people don't realize. But when you look at this list, we've got a little product on there, the RGB Link Mini on the bottom. The RGB Link Mini is a 299 mixer. It's a four HDMI input mixer. We love this product. We've done a lot of shows on it. But what's really cool about it is the USB output of this device can be fed into your laptop and it makes it look like it's a webcam. So Think about that. I can now get two cameras in for two. I can use it as a simple converter if I want. I can use it for two cameras. What I like about it is, is for a teacher or corporate presentation or even a house of worship wanting to bring in lyrics or, or things, you can have a laptop's HDMI out feeding into it. And now you can mix between the two as either a picture in picture or side by side, whatever works for your show. And I think that's really cool because you know if you're in Zoom or Teams, if you try to go full screen to your uh, your, your PowerPoint or something, you, know, you lose everyone else on the screen. This is a way where you can mix it and take control of it. So thank you for watching this highlight from the Video Guys Live webinar. If you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.